In this demo, I'd like to show you some of what I call hidden Hebrew. These are various just interesting things that rabbis have taught for hundreds and thousands of years. For instance, um, this is God's name, also called the Tetragrammaton. And from the same three letters, we can build the words was, is, and will be. So the same letters that make up God's name make up these words. And, of course, you can always hear the words. Haya. Anywhere you go and at home with Hebrew, you can always right-click and left-click, see what the word means, and see how to pronounce it. Hove. Here are the names of the uh, patriarchs and matriarchs, and so it shows you how the word Yisrael, Israel, um, is like an acronym, and all the patriarchs and matriarchs basically spell the name Yisrael. Here it talks about how uh, Hebrew words can have different numerical values. Um, it also talks a little bit about ELSs, or equidistant letter sequences. Some people call those Bible codes. Here's an example from Genesis 1. I don't dwell on that. I just give you an idea what it's about, in case you're interested. Here's another meaning of letters section. This shows you a letter chart of all the different letters. And you can always get to that by going to the different easy screens, like the vowel screen. But here it shows you how to make the letters in different styles and then what the letter physically means. This chart is also available on my website if you'd like to look at it for free. And then this is more of what I call hidden Hebrew. We can actually look at uh, each letter. Hang on here. Let me go here, like, for instance, I'm on a lesson, and I'm learning the letter Shin, for instance. Okay, the letter Shin has a value of 300, and it has a meaning of divine power and script, but also corruption. The Shin stands high among the other letters because it represents two names of God, Shaddai and Shalom. The Shin seems to reach heavenward, and the following have been pictures of the Shin. Prayers going up, a bonfire with its flames shooting high, a bed of flowers growing upward, longing to receive sustenance from above. The shin also represents the word sheker, or falsehood, since the, the, word, the letter shuruk, uh, which is the U sound, has the same letters. So there's all kinds of interesting stuff like this. Some people really like this, some people don't, but it's in there if you're interested. So that's called the hidden Hebrew. It also has some scriptures about Hebrew included in the program. So what does the Bible itself say about the Hebrew language? And uh, actually, this is one of my favorites. This is from Nehemiah. He says, In those days I observed the Yehudim, the Jews, who had married Ashdodite, Ammonite, and Moabite wives, and half of their sons spoke Ashdodite and did not recognize how to speak Yehudit, or Hebrew, but according to the language of their people. So I contended with them, and I cursed them, and I beat some of their men, and I tore their hair out. So my point there is you've got to learn Hebrew if you don't want your hair torn out. For immediate access to our entire series of videos and the frequently asked and should ask questions on learning Hebrew, please visit HebrewInfoCenter.com or you can text your name and email to 214-317-4517. When you do that, I'll immediately send you access to those videos along with the first three audio lessons of our course, the top 400 words of the Hebrew Bible. Look forward to talking to you more, and I'll see you on the inside.